haven't in, in none of these videos we have we haven't talked about um, combat at all. <laughs> no, no. Which you know perhaps perhaps we should. <laughs> we haven't got the books in front of you, and we wouldn't we wouldn't want to give out any sort of incorrect information or or, or not do it yeah. justice. Um, but what kind what sort of combat in in the broadest terms? What sort of things are we looking at here? Are we looking at hit points? Are we looking at sort of wound levels? What sort of things that people might recognise or or is it completely different? The way the game handles combat, I think, is also quite true to um, true to the books and the way that it's worked. When you go into a combat, um, initiatives determined a lot by by how the um, how the, the different parties are acting at the time. So, take advantage. There's there's some roles that you can make at the start of a combat to take advantage of the, the tactical situations. So, I mean, it's meant to represent things like you put your left, you, if, if you make your roll, you get enough um, an insight into the battlefield to go, right, ah, I charge over and I keep my, the, that tree to my left and that just guards my left while I'm attacking. And it's meant to represent those sort of things. Um, and you choose a stance that you're going to fight as, um, which gives you a range of uh, options of um, sort of close combat options or ranged combat options. So it uh, determines your character's attitude to the fight, how they're going about it. And that um, is also the, 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 the base um, factor for how hard it is for you to hit people and for them to hit you. So, I mean, things, things like shields and, and things like that can um, you know, they, they come into play as well. Um, um, your parry rating and uh, things like that. But that, that's the, the base sort of operation for it. But the, yes, the, the, the blood and guts angle. Um, as you're hit, you start to lose your endurance points. Which, if it drops under your sort of encumbrance, your fatigue total, which is you know, made up of the encumbrance of what you're carrying, um, then you can become weary um, as you're sort of bludgeoned and battered through the fight. Um, which makes that you, you that's the point at which you stop counting the ones, twos, and threes on your six-sided dice. So you, things get incrementally difficult for you, more difficult for you. Oh, cool. Then there is um, from the same dice roll that you roll to hit. Um, you also determine whether or not you have. Um, the, uh, whether whether you found a chink in your opponent's armor or whether whether your weapons pierced the armor, um, and then there's a um, they have a role to you know, there's a role to resist that, um, in which case you, you get a wound um, if you fail. So um, that, that's the two sort of ways of tracking your damage um, is the, the the physical physically being worn down by being hit with big lumps of metal aspect to it, um, and the things get really serious when your armor's you know, breached. Um, or there's a lucky shot goes through, and um, you uh, you get a wound. Um, and once you yeah, once, once you get a wound, you're, um, you're 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 facing problems. So it's pretty gritty then, you know, in terms of yes. in sort of realistic. Well, yeah. realistic. That's a dangerous word, isn't it? Let's not even <laughs> go there. <laughs> really, it's not at all realistic. It's got orcs in it. <laughs> but no, sounds good. Sounds good. On the production side of things, um, so mm. you know, a big thing uh, he says is su support for the line. Um, what, what kind yes. of plans are there going forward? Because it's not just one set, is it? It's a series of sets. It is, yes. The uh, the next set, which should be um, we're, we're aiming for um, again August next year, uh, will be the um, the it's provisionally titled the Errant Trees of the King, and that covers uh, Aragorn's um, journey basically to to take up the uh, the crown. Um, so we're uh, again we're still finalising 100% the, uh, the the content. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the third one will cover the War of the Ring. Yep. Um, then in between those, we'll have lots of uh, lots of supplements. Um, the initial range includes um, a GM screen with a um, so a booklet about uh, Lake Town, mm -hmm. and. Uh, then we'll be moving on into an adventure anthology um, and a campaign set about the darkening of Mirkwood. Cool. Um, and there's a couple of other cool things planned as well. So, Excellent. very good. Yeah, it's on those bits uh, at a later date. <laughs> it's quite exciting for me to hear about these things because <laughs> I'm looking forward to working on them if I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be drawing a gigantic map of Lake Town at the moment. Seem to be doing a lot of videos instead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. And uh, it's coming out in all sorts of different languages, isn't it? There's a lot of um, you know different yes. companies in different countries putting out translations. Yeah, we had a lot of interest um, globally from uh, many companies that wanted to translate. So yeah, we're lucky to be partnered. There's certainly, I've certainly seen the there's a German translation, isn't there? There's a is, is there an Italian translation? I believe there is. Yeah, there? You know, yeah, yeah. So German, Italian, Spanish. French. The, the French, oh, very good. 
it's amazing that it's coming to sort of the end of the first set. Yeah, was, yeah. I, I, I had a very weird. <laughs> I had a very weird moment shortly after we wrapped up artwork on on this first set, where I was sort of you know I was cr cruising around online and was just nabbing reference pictures, thinking, oh that would be great for the one ring, that would be great for the one ring, just like scenery and things like that. And I was like, oh, I finished. <laughs> Stop doing that. You know, I've been doing it for two years, two and a half years or something. It's like you, you don't need to do that anymore. So it's oh, good, no you know. There's no end. <laughs> the road goes ever on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've got a mountain to climb with this map of Lake Town. <laughs> yeah. Gigantic. Wow, cool. <laughs> That's exciting, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one of those things, I think, where you realise what's ahead. You think, oh, wow, that's going to be a lot of work. Uh, when they, and then, then there's brief pauses. That's going to be a lot of work. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a lot of cool work. <laughs> Listen, Francesco was talking in, in a second language and he didn't do any of this business. No, no. He's so cool though, isn't he? With his hair and yeah, stubble yeah. and his, his uh, manly behaviour. <laughs> 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 he's, he's Aragorn to our hobbits, isn't he? He really is. Yeah, I think so. <laughs>